Hello there, Butcher. My name is Daniel. Welcome back to my channel, Guilty Feet. High on a mountain, a lonely girl. I've got no rhythm. Uh, and today I'm going to do a thousand and one books tag, which was originated by Sandy from Ms. Reads a Lot. It's a great tag. Uh, so thank you, uh, Sandy, for coming up with this. And I've actually enjoyed watching uh, a whole bunch of uh, other people's versions of, of this. Uh, um, and uh, so I'll give it a go. Uh, um, uh, do you follow any book lists? It could be a prize list or a challenge like the Rory Gilmore challenge. I remember looking at the Rory Gilmore. It's, Rory Gilmore is just a list of books that Rory Gilmore read over the um, course of the uh, original um, series of the Gilmore Girls. Um, so I've, I've looked at that. I've looked at the, uh, the, the book list that uh, Bowie put out before he passed away. I've looked at Art Garfunkel, who is a, a surprisingly prolific reader. Uh, um, and uh, and then I'll follow a whole bunch of the major prizes. I've been following the Booker for years and the Whitbread before it became the Costa, um, the National Book Award, the National Book Critics Award, the Pulitzer Prize. These are all things that I pay attention to as not, you know, a, a because I love you know lists and, and things like that and prizes, and I've always loved award ceremonies and, and stuff like that. But just these are great uh, ways of surfacing new books for me, and I've been uh, um, you know picking up uh, uh, tips for reading for uh, um, most of my adult life. I think it's since early since yeah since I was reading independently um, uh, and buying books myself, I've been using those kind of lists as as ways in. Uh, um, Approximately, how many physical books do you currently own? How many ebooks? Uh, uh, and the next question after that is, is: How many books have you read in your lifetime? Do you keep track? And I'll do these together because uh, I think I've said this before. I kind of keep everything that I've ever read. Now, obviously, there there, there are books that I read in was given at school, which I had to give back. Uh, books that I read as a kid, which uh, lost a lot of those, uh, or you know, my mum got rid of them before I was. But, but since I kept my own house, so I, you know, since I got married before before I got married, I kept a pretty much everything. I have some of the books from when I was a kid, uh, um, and I tend to keep everything. So, uh, you know, there must there's some attrition. Books have been lent out and not come back, and books, you know, occasionally, occasionally I would have borrowed something, but mostly I buy and own everything that I read, uh, um, and I do I keep track of it in in Goodreads. So I put all the books that I have here. Uh, into Goodreads um, and things that other some other stuff that I remember that I'd read is in Goodreads. I never put I didn't put in Goodreads a, a whole bunch of the books that I read as a kid. Some some yes or things that I want can't I'm not sure of and can't quite place. I didn't necessarily put I haven't put into Goodreads any of the children's books that I read to my kids. You know some picture books or you know twelve page things. Uh, um, not that there's anything wrong if you want to you know keep. Use 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 book tracking any way you like. I use this is the way I use it. Um, so I have, and I think, I, and I just did a sort of tried to do a rough count based on books per shelf and how many. I've got about twenty five hundred books here, uh, uh, which is about uh, um, you know plus minus the uh, uh, the sum total. Uh, I I was reading for the, for the last twenty years. I was probably reading maybe forty books a year, and in the last five or six years, I've uh, ramp that up considerably so now that I'm reading about 120 130 books a year I got up to 150 and then I dropped back down to 120 something around about two to three books a week is is roughly where I'm at right now so this is so you know add that up so I've got about 2500 books here plus reference books plus comic books so the, Included in those 2,500 books are graphic novels, collections, actual books. But I have, you know, floppy comics, like actual edition. I've got a ton of those, which all the ones that I kept. I got rid of a bunch when I got married. Um, but I have some of those as well, which I don't count individual issues. Um, so about uh, 2,500 books here. And, and if I reckon I may double that um, in my lifetime. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I'll put them, but uh, we're already talking about you know putting shelves like these into the spare room, the room that was my son's room. He's married and moved out. Um, uh, Thousand and One Arabian Nights. Have you read any stories from Arabian Nights? So I feel like I have, but I have, don't have a copy of Arabian Nights because it doesn't fit in my filing system because it's a sort of anthology and and no author is named, and so I've never gone out and and and, and bought it. I I quite like the idea of reading. You know. I, I, I'm, uh, Steve Donahue said that there's a the, the Penguin Classics edition is a terrific everything you need about the uh, um, Thousand and One Nights and I love the idea I love the mythology of Thousand and One Nights of Shahrazad telling the story so that she could stay alive another night I, you know that's a great uh, um, uh, 
starting point for these stories and i guess i know you know some of the stories are so familiar uh, um but i i'd love to read a good a good version of it and i probably should uh, um maybe i wanna uh, um uh, a thousand and one flavors do you have a favorite food or flavor favorite um uh, flavor of crisp is salt vinegar favorite flavor of ice cream would be probably mint chocolate chip uh, um and everything else uh, uh, potato is bland uh thousand and one pages have you ever have you read a book that's over a thousand one pages is the one you recommend and is worth the time uh yes uh um so a couple of people have mentioned infinite jest my copy of infinite jest is with my is that over a thousand pages i don't remember with the footnotes i think it probably is i don't have it here uh my son has it but uh, uh in recent memory i slogged through duck's bloody new report which is over a thousand one pages or there's a sort of pages of page here it wasn't worth my time it took me a month to read this and i read one book at a time this was a month stuck on the same book that i hadn't done for many years and uh, um I, I found it frustrating this was not the uh, uh experience I know some people have had an amazing experience reading this and i didn't i really wish it had been about 800 pages fewer uh, um then there is volume six of uh Knausgaard's, um um camp uh, and this is 1,150 pages, uh, and that's volume six. As each of the earlier volumes is, is good for 500, but I think the whole thing altogether is about 3,000 pages. But that on its own is uh, 1,100 pages. And then I think this is the longest book that I've ever read. Uh, um, it's certainly one of the, the longest ones in my. Uh, the only one I could think of, I can't think of anything that's bigger than this. This is A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth, and it is, I'll tell you exactly, this edition. Uh, is uh, 1473 pages um and this is i bought this in may 1994 really yes and i know exactly when i read this i so i know i know how long it took me to read this because uh, i bought this in may and uh, my wife and i was married already so this is going that's 26 years ago 27 years ago uh, and um, my wife and i were uh, um going to uh, go to America. It's my first ever trip to the States. We were living in London at the time of my dad's um, surgery in Burned Oak. And uh, um, we were going to the States because she, I, one of us had finished, she finished her, her studying and I was working. But when we planned this holiday, we got, my, I wanted to go to Disney World my whole life. Uh, and I was 25 years old and, and she'd been with her family, but I made her go with me. So we went to Florida for two weeks. Now, I started reading this and realized that I did not want to take um, this book with me to America. So I had two weeks to read the whole book. Uh, um, and for the first time, and I don't think I've done this since, I'm, I'm much more um, carefree about reading, but 1400 page book, I made myself read 100 pages a day for two weeks and finished it uh, um, the night we were supposed to fly or the, you know, the, finished like two hours before we left for the airport. Uh, um, and that was, as I said, that's, so that's uh, May, uh, early June, we were in America. So I was in America for my birthday, which was the day that um, they chased uh, O.J. Simpson down the highway, the slow speed car chase, and um, was uh, June 17th, 1994. Uh, um, and uh, so that was you know, that was when we, we were in the States and we watched that live. That was a Friday, I believe. Um, and uh, um, nine months later, we had our first um, kid. So this is, has memories for me of around that, that time, the summer of 1994, uh, the last time we were without children, last summer. Uh, before we had children and i read a suitable boy and it's 1400 pages um okie dokie uh, uh thousand oh thousand one buckets do you have a non-bookish bucket list what's the one was one thing on yours yeah one of the things i've always wanted to do and may well do hopefully i will do at some point is uh, i'd like to take a, a few months and drive across america uh, and see all the things that I wanted to see. I've been to America a number of times, but there's played things that I've never seen. I've never been. I've never been to Washington D.C. I've never been to um, uh, um, Yellowstone National Park or Jellystone National Park. I'd like to see Old Faithful, the geezer. I'd like to see that erupt. I'd like to go to Mount Rushmore. I'd like to see uh, um, Sitting Bull. I'd like to go to the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame in in Cooperstown. I'd like to do a whole bunch of things. Uh, um, um, and uh, I'd like to do it in the car. I like driving. Uh, and so one day I'd like to take three months and just, oh, and, and of course go in Malhai Comics uh, um, and uh, Pals in, uh, in, in, uh, and, uh, and, you know, just do a great tour of uh, bookshops and bookish sites and, and uh, other things that I want to see all across America and get them all done. Um, 
1001 numbers do you have a lucky number uh, um, I mean 17 I was born on the 17th and 17 black uh, is a number that I played on uh, uh, roulette to no great uh, effect because uh, these things don't mean anything uh, um, 1001 Authors, do you have a favourite author and or genre? Uh, a bunch. I read uh, literary fiction and I read a lot of crime fiction. Uh, so James L. Roy was a major Raymond Chandler before him. Uh, and I've read uh, um, Robert B. Parker, uh, all his Spencer books and, and some other series. Uh, and, you know, what I, if I enjoy something, I'll, I'll read more, more by the same author. Uh, I find sort of crime stuff. It's easy to consume more and more and more. But I've read a whole bunch of uh, Salman Rushdie and Ian McEwan and, and uh, Martin Amis. Uh, uh, so I guess those could all be considered uh, Zadie Smith, uh, um, Ann Tyler, um, uh, oh, Ellen Gilchrist, bunch of <laughs> about 30 Ellen Gilchrist, well, however many she's written. Um, uh, thousand activities, do you have a favourite outdoor activity? Not really, not really an outdoor person. I like watching cricket, but I'd rather do that. I mean, I would go to watch cricket live if there was more of it here, but uh, uh, um, I'd like go to theatre. If I get a chance, again, don't do much of it in, in Israel, but when we're, when we're away, we do that kind of stuff. Uh, um, uh, 1001 book clubs not a prompt but a question for the comments uh, should I start a 1001 book club with a book uh, a month for a read along uh, this is a, a, presumably a question uh, uh, from Ms. Reads Lots and yes absolutely why not uh, that would be a great idea uh, and that's it that's my 1001 uh, uh, books uh, uh, tag thank you bye